Hola everyone, Tama Familia here again. Today we are going to be going over the destination icons for the Tamagotchi Sanrio mix. All the information that I got from this video was gotten from fuzzyandchic.com. So if you'd like to go check them out, they have a lot of different guides for pretty much all of the Tamagotchi mixes. So their link will be in the description. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is the destination icon, it's a little train, and the first area is Tamagotchi Town. This one comes automatically unlocked for you. Uh, well, I guess I can go ahead and explain this now, it's perfect timing. Um, in this Tamagotchi there are uh, special characters that live outside of your house that like to call you outside for whatever reason. Um, this one in the winter time is like a mini abominable snowman um, who as you see this is his only animation where he throws snowballs into your house and <laughs> legitimately makes your character mad. Um, in the fall there is a squirrel and in the spring there's a little character that kind of looks like the uh, Pikachu spring cherry blossom that I have in the corner there. Um, that they do all the same thing. You cannot skip their animation, so no matter what button you press, it doesn't work. And you just kind of have to sit through. And as you saw, they kind of interrupt what you do every once in a while. Um, it can get kind of annoying, but you can't do anything about it, really. So, uh, there's that. They are really cute, but after a while they get kind of annoying. Anyway. Whenever you click on any town, it tells you, um, it asks you if you want to bring a toy. So it has height or yet. So yes or no. So you can click yes, and this is where you would pick a character's favorite toy. So if you knew a character had a favorite toy, you could click on it. The blocks aren't anybody's favorite toy, so that's why I'm bringing those. Every area has the same setup, where it has, you can meet the characters. There are a total of four characters here. Uh, put a picture up you can see the characters that are here the second area is the store for this area this is where you can buy um, stuff for the people in this area if a person has a favorite toy it will most likely come from the store in this area and then the third one is always something different this one you go to Mamechi's parents laboratory and you talk to the dad for a little while. And the last icon is a proposal. This one is only open when you're an adult and um, you can propose. This is where you'd use the ring. Let's go ahead and meet a character and let's see what happens. We meet Lovelichi. Now, uh, whenever you meet a character you just kind of talk to them and you bring out the toy that you brought and you can play with them. If it's their favorite toy uh, little hearts will fly around the screen and a special animation will happen with the toy that doesn't normally happen if it's not their favorite toy and this also raises their love points a lot quicker so if you're looking to fall in love with someone you'd want to bring their favorite toy all the time now once you're done meeting with this person it brings you straight back home and you'd have to go back all the way to the destination icon and hopefully not run into the abominable snowman on the way there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much that area. The next area is Melody Forest. You can unlock this area by going to your yard. So outside, on your first generation adult. You go outside and you can unlock that area. Now, when you go to this area, there is a special game that you can play, and I'll go ahead and explain the game. Well, before I explain the game, there are three characters in this area, as you can see them on the top there. And let's go ahead and explain the game. This game is you're basically just helping my Melody get strawberries, and you have to count how many strawberries she gets and loses. So we got one. And now... The little mouse is going to come and take her one. How rude. <laughs> but now she has zero. And then you count however many she's going to get after. So one, two, three. 
And now, man, he's greedy. He's coming by. Took another one, so now we only have two. And now we put one, two with the A button and B to confirm. And then there's three rounds of this like that. So you keep counting. It's not a game you can look away from because you have to count how many she gets and loses. She got three, she lost one. Uh-oh, and now that one's gonna steal some. Stole all three. So, now she has zero. Now she's getting more. One, two, three, four. Let's see if she gets any more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shows that person. We got nine now. Yeah. So then you put in nine with the A button and B to confirm. And then the game keeps going like that. This is the last round of the game. One, two, three, four. We got. Let's see if anyone comes. Nope. Five, six. You lost two, so now you have four. Five, six again. And you put in six with the A button. Confirm, and you won. You get 200 gachi points for winning. And it makes your character happy to win, of course. <laughs> okay, the next area is Flower Hills. To get this area, you have to remodel your room to the flower room. You have to go to Tamadepa and buy the flower room and get your room remodeled, and then you'll get this area. There is a total of three characters here, as you can see on the top. And the extra thing here is um, there's a giant flower that comes by and gives you your fortune, your love fortune, for who. So you pick the character that you're in love with and you get a special love fortune for that character. The next area is Mermaid Palace. In order to get this area, you have to connect with three different mixed Tamagotchis. Or you can do a trick where you can, if you only have two, reset the other one three times and connect with it. Then you will have your three connections. The There's only two characters in this area. And the special thing in this area is this is, you go to basically a party with the mermaid uh, queen. And this is where she will give you the conch. Now the conch is used to open the Gozaru village, which I'll explain in a minute. The next area is Twin Star Land. In order to open this one, you basically have to go to your yard at night, which is after 7 p.m. When you The first time you go to this area, Kiki and Ra Ra will show up right there. And so you can have them on your friends list right away. There are, this area has the most people. It has five characters in it. You can see them up there. And the special thing in this area is you go basically to a theme park with one of the characters from this area and you ride a Ferris wheel and all that. It's a whole lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> the next area is the Gozaru Village. This area, you open it by using the conch. So you have to remodel your room to the Gozaru room. Once you do that, you get the conch out and you play it in the room and that will unlock the Gozaru village. Now what's special here, um, well first there's only two characters you can get in the Gozaru village as you can see. And what's special is there's a game here. It's a puzzle game where you basically have to help Gozaruchi escape by using the little map that you have here and you are timed up here. So I am <laughs> terrible at these games. So, well, I already messed that up. Maybe, I'm not sure. Oh boy, 
Yeah, no, I am really bad at these games. Anyway, you basically have to move the tiles around and um, help Gozaruchi escape from here within the time limit. And then there's three rounds if you can uh, accomplish them. I cannot. I'm really bad. Um, yeah. And then you win um, once you accomplish those three different rounds. 200 gachi points. If you're good at puzzle games, good on you, and I'm sure you can do that game much better than I can. The next area is the berry town. To unlock this area, you basically have to eat the berry ice cream that I said would turn you pink in the last video, 10 plus times, and you get this area unlocked. There are only two characters in this area as well. And the special thing in this area is two little Tamagotchis come and decorate you and then you get judged by um, some of the characters that are from this area to see, I guess, how well you look decorated. They always say yes, so it's just kind of funny to see these little, tem these tiny Tamagotchi characters decorating you with frosting and sprinkles and all that. And then you get judged. This is the first time that you kind of see uh, Strawberry Chi. I don't know their name exactly, but um, she's one of my favorites. So I was really glad to actually see her in this version. She judges you and then one of the characters from this area. So now you got Wagata Washi. Waga, whatever. <laughs> He's going to judge you too, and give you a yes. You look very nice. And it makes your character happy anyway, so it's kind of fun to see the little animations. But you don't get anything for it. And then the last area is Puro Land. This is the Sanrio Land. There's a total of... Oh, this area takes you on a special Sanrio train. And there's a total of four characters here as you can see it's pretty much all the rest of these Sanrio characters and the special one in this area is there's basically like a party and either cinnamon roll or Putin will join you uh, there's Putin and his friend and they basically just kind of have a strobe light party and you dance around and that's basically the whole thing but once you click on it you can't skip it so you're doing the running man over there. Look at that. And that's it. I guess it's basically just a dance party. <laughs> um, that is all the areas. You unlock Pudo Land by going to your yard as a second generation adult. Oh, this is one of the things that, you have, that happens when you go to your yard. Is one of the characters that you have met will come to you at the yard, talk to you for a little bit, and actually give you a gift. It's funny because they act like they're not going to give you a gift. And then they're like, psych! <laughs> and then they give you a gift. It's really funny. And then you open it and... Yay! Pudding. Other times, uh, the mailman will come and give you some mail from characters that you have connected with out there. But in order to unlock the Pudo Land, you have to be on the second generation adult going outside, and then you can unlock that area. Now there are, out of all of those lands, all of them together, there's a total of 25 characters you can mix with in this Tamagotchi. There is an extra two characters that you can only get on your first generation. I'm going to put up the um, growth chart here. These characters are Shimaguruchi for the boys, you can see him at the end, and Momochi for the girls. Now, you have to take care of your Tamagotchi in a very specific way, basically very badly on the first generation uh, to get those characters. So seven plus care misses. So the care misses are up here, basically on your bar here. 
um, it has to be very low, basically, on the bar for you to um, get that character. So, basically, when you have this really, really low, you have to have seven plus care misses, so it has to be super low. And that's you missing them pooping and miss not giving them baths, not taking care of them, basically, at all. Um, and then you can get either, if you have a boy, Shimaguruchi, or if you have a girl, Momochi. And you can't mix with those characters, they don't come in any of the destinations. So if you'd like to have those characters, you need to raise them specifically on the first generation only. Alright, one last thing. Uh, these are the different icon backgrounds. Once you unlock all the areas, you get different icon backgrounds. The first one is the My Melody Forest. And as you can see, this one's the My Melody Forest. And you have the different My Melody characters in the back there. The second one is a Twin Star Land. And you can see Kiki and Rara there. And a bunch of different little plush characters that they have. The third one here is basically all the Sanrio characters that are available. There are seven Sanrio characters available on this mix here. And they're all available right there for you to see. That's when you unlock uh, Pudo Land. And then the last one here is just a cake decoration from um, the Berry Town. Once you unlock Berry Town, you get the cake decoration one. My favorite is the standard one that comes with it. You see all the silhouettes of the characters. It looks really cute. And again, this is all of the Sanrio characters um, as well that are in this Tamagotchi. Um, That'll be it for the Tamagotchi Sanrio mix. Um, if you have any other comments or um, you'd like to know anything else that I didn't explain, uh, you can go ahead and comment below. If you enjoyed the video, you can go ahead and like it. And um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!